The installation of medical oxygen plant at District Hospital in Dimapur has already started. In a tweet, Nagaland Health Minister S. Pangnu Pom today informed that the installation of Pressure Swing Adsorption PSA oxygen generation plant at Dimapur has begun and will be completed at the earliest for the benefit and welfare of the people. We are doing all we can for public safety. In the meantime, be cooperative and follow all SOPs to overcome this battle," he said. The Bizoram government has announced a seven-day total lockdown, commencing from 4 a.m. on May 10th to curtail the spread of COVID-19 in the state, a government order said. The total lockdown will remain in force till 4 a.m. of May 17th and no resident of the capital and district headquarter towns will be allowed to move out of their homes, it said. All district magistrates will impose night curfew in their respective district headquarter towns between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m., the order said. The Drugs Controller General of India, DCGI, has granted approval for the emergency use of an oral drug developed by the DRDO for the treatment of COVID-19 patients. DCGI has granted permission for emergency use of therapeutic application of drug 2-deoxy-D-glucose 2-DG as an adjunct therapy in moderate to severe COVID-19 patients, the DRDO said. A 12-member national task force has been set up by the Supreme Court to assess the availability of medical oxygen and recommend its distribution across the country, amid its ongoing shortage for coronavirus patients in many states. The task force will formulate a method for the allocation of oxygen to states and union territories on a scientific basis. The Indian Medical Association has accused the Centre of not carrying out transparency in reporting and making registry of COVID-19 deaths. Hundreds of deaths happening in big hospitals are shown as non-COVID deaths and crematoriums are showing houseful boards. Why are we trying to hide actual deaths? The Indian Medical Association said in a letter. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence DRI, has seized 10 kilograms of heroin from foreign nationals at the Bengaluru airport yesterday. Earlier, two were held for smuggling 15.6 kilograms of heroin worth 100 crore at Chennai airport. A DRI official said that smugglers were trying to take advantage of COVID-19 pandemic to traffic dangerous narcotic drugs into India. A woman in UK took to Twitter to share that she had received a cracked tile instead of the iPhone 12 Pro Max she ordered from Virgin Media. She added that the company initially told her she was liable to pay for the phone, but Virgin Media later said it would refund the money since she was a victim of fraud.